Space. The final frontier. Whatever. These are the voyages of the USS MatPat? I don't know. That's a whole different YouTube Matter channel. Prize. <laughs> Oh, Matt. wait, no, wait, wait. Matter prize? No. What? I was doing the TNG intro. Yeah. This isn't TNG. This is like, wait, we're lost from home. What war crimes can we commit on the way back? So, we can invent new war crimes. During the course of this, I would, because I've remained ignorant. I have not asked, because I have not seen uh -huh. what is the deal with Janeway and what did she do? Welcome to Voyager L Cars menu system. Every Star Trek video or any conversation about Star Trek, you're like, super terrorist Captain Janeway? There, I'll, I'll move around the menus and you go. There's a bunch. What's the main one? There's so much that I can't remember. Is there a senior okay. staff? Oh, look, look, there's Janeway. Yep. There, there's uh, 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 Tuvok. Yeah. And Ensign. All uh, right. Seven, seven, nine. seven of nine. There are. Oh, that's Jerry Ryan. Hello, Jerry Hello. Ryan. Hello. Hey, Annika Hansen. I'm assuming she's still hot. I don't know for sure, though. Probably. That kind of hot doesn't go away. Right, yeah. Especially on Tuvok. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok. Okay. Look at that. So. I'd, I'd mulk Vulcan mine. I was about to say Mulcan vine meld. So there are two <laughs> things. That Janeway does. Okay. That are morally bankrupt to a degree that is shocking for a Starfleet captain. We want to get through as much as possible. Yeah, we do. And what I'm, is up I'm with a, this menu? This I'm is a, terrible. That's fine. This is a bad menu to do. Uh, let's just engage. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, so you boy. saw though that this, the front. This is made by Raven Software, I did so see it might that. be good. It might be okay. Might be all right. So, so what you do? There are two things. One, there is a transporter accident. Did she bomb Risa? Yes. There's a trans. She bombed the Hooker planet. There's a transporter <laughs> accident which combines Neelix and Tuvok into one person, known here to after as Tuvix. Are you serious? I am very serious. On Stardate 4, oh, oh, yeah. the USS Voyager was transported Why? beyond our no. control. 70,000 light years Holy across shit, the I think that's her voice. Yeah, that's Kate Mulgrew for sure. There, without aid from Starfleet. All right, so she had sex with two Vicks. No, no, no. <gasps> In our oh, wow. The board queen. There's the board queen, the Herosians, the really shitty species. ones from the thing. Some of those look real no shittier, right? The Herosians are okay. They're basically predators. That That's cool. Although, like, the Klingons in Into Darkness look like predators. Yeah. Oh, but look at fucking Cisco. Never looked that cool. That's not Cisco. Looks like it's trying to be Cisco. Yeah, but it's not. What's up with their faces? I don't know. Okay, so Tuvix is like a person, right? I and, guess. And everyone's like, oh, modulator. Christ. The hazard Fuck. Team has to Tuvok and Neelix are fucking mission. dead, right? Mm -hmm. However, and Tuvix is like, nah, it's pretty cool, actually. I like this. The we have board. to fix the transport Separated accident. The and Monroe Tuvix is, no, 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 hey, no, wait. I'm my own person. Can you not do that? And they're like, we have to save Tuvok and Neelix. And Tuvix goes, Please do not murder me. And they put him in the transporter and they they separate him and in back into the two people. Mm. And they both go, thanks for murdering that guy. Look, I'm I've Sarah Ryder. Yeah. You sure are. Your face looks better. <laughs> she does. Looks more consistent. What do you we think about the thing where they're like, signs. Borgs will they not pay attention to you unless they deem you a threat? What could be more cost. of a threat than a Starfleet officer with a fucking space Tushiri bazooka? Um, yeah, going to her head. The the basic deal with that. Oh, oh wow. 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 Sure, okay. Um, With the, the fucking uh, uh, Borg on that is like, it, it never really made sense to me after the first encounter. Yes. Right. Right. Like when they first when they first show up in the in, for, in best of both worlds one. Best of both worlds is awesome. And they yes, don't shoot I'm anyone. Yeah. Mission objectives and tactical information. Yeah, that is too. There's awesome. a lot of going on. Proceeding. Well, um, I get that. Right. That makes sense because they're like, oh, well, who are these things, right? But they Jeez, they enemies eliminated. They shoot a lot of Borg. Well, they got over a... time, and Borgs probably noticed that. <laughs> they probably did. All right. Rescue your teammates and reclaim the iMod from the Borg. From the Borg. 
Uh, so there's another thing that Janeway does. Yep. That is very bad. So they get to uh, the the heart of Borg space in the Delta Quadrant, right? Yeah. And they're like the heart of the Borg. And they're like, <laughs> okay, now I'm a threat. Yeah, you're a threat now. now. Oh God, inverted. Oh, you bastard. So that Janeway put your controls to inverted. <laughs> and that's the worst war crime of them all. <laughs> Sorry, cadet. You're going to be going into this mission alone with inverted controls. Um, so they run into the they run into the Borg space and they're like, well, we're never going to get through this shit, right? And then... <laughs> that's how you do it. Yeah, and then they find out that the Borg is fighting this huge war against the species <laughs> they call... 8472. Okay. Right? And they go, Can I? and 8472 is winning the war real hard. Right. Like the Borg are getting fucking wrecked. What? What? Anything in this menu strike you as odd on this PS2 game? Yeah, that is odd. <laughs> that is extremely odd. Go into that option. What, did the PS2 have a keyboard? Yes, it did for FF11. It did not have a mouse. Yeah, it had to. That's crazy. That's the craziest thing I ever saw. This is a fucking uh, invert pitch. Yeah. Invert, oh. yeah. <laughs> I love how you're like concerned I for hate, me. I hate inverted controls. Yeah, They're we, for we, psychos. We've all talked. Unless you're playing Ace Combat. We, we've all talked mad shit about it. Yeah. Yes, unless you're playing a flight. Um, okay, so the Borg is losing the war super hard, right? Yeah. And then hard. they, then Janeway's like... Plasma coil. Whoa. 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 Okay, I don't have a pickup. I guess I don't. Okay. I don't, I, I, you don't have to so then Janeway comes, yes! up, comes up with a really good idea. They're like, okay, what if, yeah. what if, just wait for it, we helped the Borg defeat their enemy by helping them build a weapon of mass destruction. Mm. And okay, then next, the Borg like will let us fly through their space. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Does it? And so then they help the Borg build a weapon of mass destruction. Okay, Janeway <laughs> says yes to that. Yes. She says, my crew oh, has... Oh, look! They're fucking changing the frequency! She says, my crew has to get home. I'm gonna build a, what is essentially a molecular nuke for the Borg. Humanity's oh, greatest enemy. Right? To fight an yeah. enemy. Oh, by the way, the Borg also started the war. So, okay. You know, she's helping the. I didn't know it all had to do with the Borg, Janeway's, Janeway's contempt for humanity. Well, there's a third one. And the third one, I don't know how bad it is, but it's pretty bad. And the yeah, third okay. one is Janeway at some point eventually eventually reaches Earth. Okay. Right? And, and she's old. She's tired, right? <laughs> As and, anyone would be. And she's like. She's flying through space. She's very upset. <laughs> She's very upset because uh, most of the cast died along the way. Okay, fair enough. Right? Like the vast majority, and it was a bad trip. So she decides, and this is the end of Voyager, by the way, spoilers. Oh, wow. Um, she decides that the best thing that she can do is take, I think she steals it, steals a new model of Voyager from like 90 years in the future. What? How? Travels back in time to okay. the current timeline. Fair and basically, I mean, do that. basically wipes out the Borg. That's that's good. Doesn't that redeem her? No. Oh. There's a couple things wrong with that. I, okay, why? Well, well, One, Starfleet's know. not really into the genocide business. That's true. You know who wasn't into genocide? Picard. Yeah. You know what he didn't want to kill? The fucking crystalline entity. A thing that's basically a super predator for people. <laughs> The thing that's basically saying it's like a giant space shark made out of rocks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do it. Okay. Oh, oh kill us. This is it. And here's the even bigger, dumber thing about that. No, this is the that. health energy terminal. Right. Hold on. Here's the even. Oh, that's Half Life rules. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here's the even bigger, guy. dumber one that actually bothers me more. And it's okay. What if you fucked up? And the Borg got their hands on a ship from the future. Uh, What's real bad? Wouldn't that be game over for all life that in the galaxy? That would be the most devastating <laughs> thing ever. Also, at this point in Voyager, it has been established that not only does the Starfleet, uh, the, does the United Federation of Planets have a prime directive, mm -hmm. there is also a temporal prime directive, temporal. which is 
defined as don't go back in time and kill Hitler. Don't. It'll be weird. So remember when that guy that from the that was a charlatan claimed he was from the mega future? That is one of my favorite TNG episodes. It's really great because A, I love that actor, and B, like, they're like, oh, can we ask you about no, we shouldn't ask you, that'll ruin everything. And he's like, yep. And that's the perfect cover. That's why Starfleet's kind of like a pushover sometimes. You start talking about time stuff. They'll be like, oh, God, no. Look, we, I got everyone together. I got the whole crew. You're that doing just great, died. Matt. You're doing great. And, um, <laughs> there are a lot, and, and, and there are a lot of things that Janeway does, but she is basically consistently shown as, like, morally bankrupt. Okay, but... In a show after it, like what, what's the only show that's after Enterprise? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. So they didn't have time to condemn her, really. No. Like in in canon. No, they didn't. Oh, they, so, but they should they? Have, they, they oh wait, the movies they, came out. They just no, kinda, no, no. Janeway just, was a, was a fucking admiral in the TNG movies, like Nemesis. Oh fuck. She that's, got promoted. That's what that's what uh, Plinkett said. He was like. Inexplicably, Janeway has been promoted to Admiral despite all her war crimes. She's, she's the greatest fuck up ever in Starfleet. It defies belief. It defies belief. Belief, he says. Oh god, I forgot there was another one. There was another. Okay, so you know how the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you know how the doctor is like. Um. Um. Uh, okay. You know how the doctor yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, becomes sapient? Right, he becomes yes. he becomes a person over time because he's yes, left yes, on yes, all the yeah, time, yeah, yeah. right? Which is stupid, but whatever. They run into an enemy race called the Herogen, and they're basically predators. And uh, they, they all they all they care about in their whole society is everything is based on the hunt. And you have to hunt that badasses. Is predators right? You have to hunt badasses, and that's that, right? So there's a pretty long and decent storyline where they keep running into the pred uh, into the predator, yeah. into the Herogen, including a, a sequence in which. The, the Herosian have, like, control of the Enterprise. Yeah. And they basically turn off all the limiters on the holodeck in order to, like, lure them in there and kill them with Klingons. Sure. Right? And that's cool. It's super cool. And as a result of this, the end of that storyline is that head Herosian guy realizes that in a galactic world where there are tons of badasses all over, all over. the Herosian way of life will totally like end up killing them, no problem, right? Okay. Eventually they're gonna come up against something like the Borg or, you know, whatever, and they're gonna get their shit ruined. That's a little sad, but sure. So he's like, <laughs> uh, so he makes a deal with Jane and we're gonna leave you guys alone, but y you give us your holodeck technology. Why? So that we can hunt in the safety of our own homes and our society can continue without having to murder everyone, right? Fair enough. But this is after we've established that if you leave holograms on for long enough, they become sapient. Yeah. So she's basically giving away the tools to manufacture a slave race <laughs> to the Herosian to be murdered forever. Now, to be fair, that's a gray area. Sometimes that could be seen as a good thing. It's, it's a gray area right up until the storyline in which the holograms that the Herosian have become sapient and rebel against the Herosian <laughs> and be like, why did you help them create us as a slave race? Mm, okay. And it, Sorry. Ugh. No, that was... Yeah, that, that, was that, was, that was like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What, what am I... Not Voyager, obviously, because I obviously haven't seen a lot of Voyager. <laughs> But uh, one of my favorite, like, since you mentioned slave races, is the race that um, Tom Hardy's from in Nemesis, yeah. or the race that that he that he grew up alongside yeah. in a uh, weird like uh, mining facility. It's like I I freed my Reman brothers, and then we got the most advanced cloaked ship ever, and we're weird slaves that knew nothing but mines. And Picard and no one make any attempt to like rationalize on how this happened. It just happened. So I I want to I want to add uh, some what data like to, to that, that. Oh, some more. Oh, you want to add data? Yeah. What did he do? No. Ah. So, this is probably the same for everybody. You know what? I'm gonna test it. Please. In, in incognito mode, just to be sure. You're looking Let's at seven see what porn. it. Yeah, no. Jane Way is. Oh, Captain Jane Way. Okay, Incognito doesn't finish it, 
But if you if you type in Janeway is, you will receive the following results. Yeah, okay, all right. Is well. a bad captain. Followed by <laughs> is the best captain. <laughs> Amazing. I like it. I like it a lot. I think this stops like the fucking um, uh, enemy generators. Because it's getting to be a real annoying problem. Hopefully. Is Janeway a bad captain? Yes, says Picard. They bury Janeway under rocks. There, There's also like a pretty recurring theme in which... You know how, okay, remember how Worf was like, we should attack them? Yep. And everyone's like, shut up, Worf. You remember, like, the video of Worf always gets shut down? Denied. With oh, Worf Jesus. gets denied. All right, so remember that? I, I do. In, in, in Voyager, the situation is often reversed, in which someone comes up with a pretty decent solution to the plan, and Janeway goes, nah. And, and she favors what a course of aggressive action. And more than anything, she almost never explains why it's gnaw. Why it's gnaw? Yeah. So uh, I was just reading, and it reminded me in Year of Hell, where she's fighting this. She's fighting Red Foreman. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. There's a, there's a two part series called Year of Hell where the the villain is uh, Red Foreman. Uh, Clarence, Clarence Boddicker. Bo Clarence Boddicker. <laughs> That's awesome. And it's one. It's it's pro. Red it's the two best experience. episodes of Voyager by far. Okay. Um, I'll watch those. And it's because Red Foreman's uh, race invented uh, a form of time travel that sucks, and they fucked Sir, everything up split. as a result. The board yeah. took the team through there. Um, team out, Chang. You've done all you can here. Yeah, get out of here, I Chang. Sure. He's going to be assimilated, so I should. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I work for Janeway. Yeah. What? Oh no! <laughs> Whoops! You caused the death of a teammate. Why would you do what that? What should I say? Oh, fu 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 fu. All right. Fortunately, Chan was lost in a uh, transporter accident, but now he's back. That was so a that's, that was sure, a goofy accident. That's what I'll write in my report. Through there. Beam out, Chan. Through here? You've done all you can here. Yeah. Now, I don't know I about you, but this looks like platforming. It does. Oh. This is a fucking PC port and a half, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I think so. <gasps> Bye, Chan. What a ghost. Okay, so you guys want to hear more about how Janeway is the worst captain ever? I, I wouldn't mind. I would like to credit Garen. He's a lieutenant red shirt. Uh-oh. On the Trek BBS. Okay. For oh, oh no! For compiling some thoughts. That was great, Matt. That was real great. That was very great. That was super great. Mission failed. Your, Your judgment, judgment leaves, leaves much, much to, to be desired. desired. I like that. All right, fuck me. Fuck you. <laughs> You're gonna do it again. <laughs> gonna have to do You're it again. You're gonna do it again, motherfucker. You'll give me time to talk about this shit. Sure, all right. Okay, so in Year of Hell, that when they're fighting Red Foreman, so the ba it's important to know why this time travel sucks. All it does is erase things from time. That's not time travel. It's, it's a gun that erases things from time. but That's a time gun. But it erases them from ever existing. So it always has, like, horrific side effects. Ugh. And he's just zapping civilizations left and right because he wants his wife and kid to come back to life because he fucked up the very first one. There's a lot of guys that are like that in Star Trek. A lot. It humanizes them. All right. It doesn't. So... It's called Year of Hell because Janeway fights like a full year-long war against this dude. That's cool. And almost all the crew gets fucking killed. <laughs> and crew or Starfleet? Everybody, all everybody. Starfleet. Fucking, yeah, all of them. Yeah, everybody on Voyage is fucking dead. And like they're at the end, and they're all wearing tank tops. Cause that's how you know it's it's war. Oh, because like they have no time for pomp and circumstance. Yeah. And so what happens is Janeway's like. We're gonna ram the ship into that ship. We're gonna okay. ram it. Ramming speed! And Seven's like, that's really stupid. The Borg, huh? Yeah. Seven's like, that's dumb as shit. And Janeway's like, no, shut up. Okay, fair enough. If, if we blow that ship up, all the time stuff will go back to hey, normal. So if they're doing this intense war, do people, like, stand up to Janeway a lot? No. No? No, in fact, yeah. let me finish this story. Okay. Everyone, she's like, if we blow that ship up, it'll reverse the time stuff. And the viewer's like, what? Why? Shut up. 
And then the doc <laughs> and then the doctor's like I'm sure I was hit. The doctor's like, the dude, took the team you're there. acting a Be little nuts. You've done all you can. You're relieved of duty. Aye, sir. Right, Captain? Because I'm the doctor, I can do that, right? Yeah, fair and enough. And she says, shut up, doctor, I'll turn you off, you fucking hologram. Oh, oh, well, that's a threat. And then she rams the ship into the ship. And then everything goes back to normal. It's like, okay. Okay, I guess this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. I, uh, we'll find out soon enough. Because I did this, We'll find and out happened. soon enough. Like, I guess I'm supposed to get real no, flush. No, we'll Oh, it's going back up. Yeah, no, that's, that's it, but I don't think... I guess it's the other one. I guess it's the other one. I guess I, I just get die. crushed. I thought you were gonna die there for a second. Oh look, that one even has a little hole that you can jump in. <laughs> okay, I'll just wait. Okay. God. Platforming, have you ever seen anyone have to do any real gymnastics or anything in Star Trek? Like, having to go on like an obstacle... Like, the best you ever see is maybe like, Worf has a training program and he's gotta fight like a million monsters. That's his thing that he likes to do. Yeah. I love that. I love that bit where, like, one of my favorite characters is is, is Alexander's mom. I forget her name, mm -hmm. but she's like the half, like the super half human, half Klingon. Yeah, she's cool. And she's, she, the Worf does that. Oh God! You can do it, Matt. Mm. She does that thing where remember when Worf gets like super like Klingon boners and he starts doing that weird face. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, face. That face. Uh, I know right. the one. I've seen it before. Oh. Oh, oh, you can do it. You can do it, Matt. Oh. Yeah, you just. Okay, bullshit. So, when uh, she goes to his training program in the holodeck, and he's fighting predators and fucking Palpatine and yeah. Jason Voorhees and shit, and then she comes in and she's like, "Oh, you're training, huh?" And he's like, working out all his aggression. He's like, "Yes, but you cannot train. This is set to level five. And she goes, "I can go down a few levels for you." And his eyes bulge out of his head, among other things. Yeah. And then I'm really sad with, with like, like how that whole. Oh, it's a, it's a sad story, out. yeah. Uh, but still, though, one of my favorite characters. Oh, she's great. She only gets like one or two episodes. Right? She's like two episodes max. Um, that opened up something. I have another favorite part of why Janeway sucks. We are playing a Voyager game, so it's very apropos. So, so there's ahead. an episode called Random Thoughts. I'm also crediting the same guy from the Star Trek BBS. He's really helpful. Good on you. There's an episode called Random Thoughts in which it's a it's a planet of telepaths. Everybody's telepathic. Yeah. And they have enough. they have laws against thought crime. Wait, you mean you mean um, uh, Troy's race? No, no, it's completely. They're in the Delta Quadrant. It's a completely oh, oh, different planet sorry, of, sorry, of sorry. dirt bags. Um, they're telepaths and they have laws against thought crime. You can't have, you can't think about murdering somebody because everybody's telepathic. Everyone wants to murder. So everybody. you know, that right? Makes sense. And Belana goes down there, and you might remember Belana, bitch. She's a little, she's half Klingon. She's real bitchy, and she's like, <laughs> and she's like, boy, I sure wanna wanna do a bad thing, right? And she gets in trouble, right? Fair enough. And this is basically wow. the telepathic equivalent of that weird sex planet that Wesley Crusher stomped oh, on. Oh, that those. not rising. I mean, the other one where everyone's wearing white. Yeah, and he stomped on those mushrooms or whatever. No, they threw, cabbages. They threw like a soccer ball, and he stepped. He stepped over the line of where yeah. you can go. And they're gonna euthanize him. Fuck and pretty me. much, pretty much the same thing is gonna happen here, right? Belon's in big trouble. Yeah. And Janeway's all like, "No, I can't do." You know, typical. And that's fine, right? Prime Directive is, 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 you can bend it a little bit. And then Seven goes up to her and she's like, Hey, um, Janeway, your whole like- Sir, I have some questions. Your whole explore the galaxy shtick is cool and all, but, um, you're, you're probably all gonna die because you keep probably all talking to these cultures and they keep wanting to murder you. Yeah. You'd be a lot safer if you just like went the straight home. Mm -hmm. And Janeway goes, well, that would be pretty boring, wouldn't it? Sure would. And you're like, what? Okay. And then Seven's like, but you almost had multiple members of your crew murdered for no reason. No reason. And she goes, that's not true. That's not, that's a super acceptable risk because we learned about this culture yeah, that better. sucks and wants to murder us. Yeah. Hey, what are your bets that there's fall damage? Well, there's a little bit of fall a damage. A little bit. Like, did Cisco do anything that be considered? Cisco did a lot. Okay. But he's awesome, so, so, so it's fine. So who did the least? Picard. Okay, but you're. 
it we depends. are assuming that movie show that yeah, movie, movie Picard, Picard did exist. less in general okay. just because there were less movies. Well, yeah. here's the thing, right? Kirk did arguably the most sometimes. Really? Because he would throw down and punch anything. That's true, but he would punch. Yeah. Not put on but, a la uh, phaser on kill. Yeah, but he'd like he'd like fuck an alien up, or like fuck, fuck up, it, or like fuck up their whole society or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But he was he was like a pretty good guy, right? Heart of gold kind of thing. He yeah. did rough and tumble. Picard would be all like, blah 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 Shakespeare. Um, Curlin Nescar. And aside from a couple weird moments in the final season, was pretty on point with that stuff. Cisco's not a captain. At he's least, not. He's, at he's least fair. for most of, of the series. Most of um, them. And he comes off as a way more human dude. Yes. Um. The, like, right away... He likes all-terrain vehicles in Dune Buggies. Right away, uh, Q shows up, and yes. he's, like, in an old-timey boxing match with, with, uh, with Cisco. Yeah. And Cisco's just like, oh, fine, fuck it, it's Q, right? And, <laughs> and he just rocks him in the face. It's all as he should. And Q goes, well, Picard never punched me. I'm not Picard. Yeah, see, it's a good line, right? Um, Cisco's a real, like, get sh shit done. Maybe I didn't do it clean or whatever. But it got done. Uh, there, there is one thing that Cisco does that you're like, nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. it's where um, they basically reenact Le Miz in space. Really? In which uh, one of his officers betrays him to the Maquis, and Cisco goes super nuts with revenge. He's so Sometimes mad. Sometimes you have to. He's so so fucking this is a PC port like crazy. Yeah, like no, half life. I, that 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 is that is a good indication. He gets right there. so mad mm. that he's like, hey, hey motherfucker, you wanna you wanna fucking throw down? I'll blow up this whole planet. And the dude's like That's bold. He's like, No, you won't. You're fuck you're Stark Fleet Captain. Will you Yeah, 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 that's true. And he's like, Hey Mr. Wharf, load up that torpedo with a shitload of poison <laughs> and and just Space shoot poison. And shoot it at the planet. No. Why would you guys be kept instead of being instantly assimilated? Yeah. They're trapped behind This is after first contact. Acknowledged, Ensign. See if you can look like, at right? And then and then like the, uh, the evil guy. Oh, he's being assimilated. They're just doing yeah. it in order. The evil like, guys all like first come first serve. Hey man, you won't do that. You're your pussy. And then I then, sure am. then Cisco's like, "Nah, hey war fucking do it." And everyone on the bridge is like, "What?" Ser like seriously? No. And he's like, "Fucking do it!" And they, they, he poisons a whole M-class planet forever. And the dude gives up, and he's like, "Yeah, I did it." And everyone's like, "Are <laughs> yeah, you?" I did it. And everyone's like, "Are you for real?" I hate are you, that are, race, by are the are way. You, yeah, they're not. I'm gonna be a little racist here. I hate that blue race with the weird zipper and the. And the, and and the they they blow into the little mouth thing under on their chin. What? Yeah. No way, the dog. That, <laughs> What's gonna happen? That got removed later, but I'm originally they had a little mouth blue thing that they blew into. Explain to me again uh, what happened to the Klingons. Why did well, they change from? Oh fuck you! Boo! Hey Tuvok. It was only a simulation. Boom. Ms. Monroe, your tactical approach was, shall we say? I got the shit tactless. done. Yeah, that isn't Cisco. You're right. It's just like a commando. All right. Hazard team. Also, is, he's probably got the worst face texture I've ever seen. Nice going, Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Idiot. See you in ten forward, bitch. I'll I'll take all your money during poker. All of it. Sir, if I may, how was I supposed to know the panel would explode? That point is not relevant, Ms. Monroe. A given situation. It's the no-win scenario. As you might desire. Your reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. Oh no, you're dead you now. Have failed. Now, to be fair, that one person only had about two seconds to tell had me not to shoot up the panel. Hazard team procedures. You it's may true. have survived the simulation and achieved your. Like they should objectives. have dropped that hint yes, a little sir. bit earlier, then to see what her decision would be. Procedure. So Speak we're freely, like we're kind of rough and tumble, I'd say. A little Monroe. Bit Speak freely. Why does everyone then? have weird With slashes respect, in their faces? Look at Tuvok. The, yeah. the polygons are ripping there wasn't at the any seams. Way I could have possibly rescued them. 
Someday, Ms. Monroe. I actually like this cutscene, just going through the turbo possible. lift. Yeah, Consider it's pretty this classic. To be your personal. The Kobayashi Maru. Red alert! All hands to battle stations. That's Chakotay, but it's Computer. a sound clip. Reroute it's not new. Turbo, yeah. I can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's of a different weird quality than the rest why, of the dialogue. Why get him when you can just take something old? There's a lot of those clips out there. <laughs> yeah, I bet there is. Like uh, Miss Roddenberry may be, have passed on, but there are roughly a billion lines of her saying computer shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're saying you're saying his wife played the computer? Uh, a uh, fucking um. Uh, 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 Troy's mom is Miss Roddenberry and is also the computer. I didn't know that she was Mrs. Roddenberry. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Status. Oh, oh God. God! Captain, we have reports of secondary... Oh, I forgot Kim about Harry! Kim doesn't Harry. look great. They go to a Warp planet and Harry Kim gets fucking killed? <laughs> but he gets cloned by the people as kind uh, of some weird sex ritual? And... <laughs> And they just bring, and they just bring the clone. And for like, that is of everything. Who makes that decision? Janeway. That is the worst one. And like from season two onward, you have to remember that it's like the clone Harry. That's no, that's no good. That's like in TNG. Remember when they find the alternate Riker? Yeah, and he's really pissed. Yeah, that's like if they they don't get rid of their Riker. They get rid of the guy that they found. We're not going to survive another hit. It's fucked up. Oh, this is bad. Okay, did you ever <laughs> see that guy's expression change? You know, did you know about the part where they go? Oh, get fucked. They go faster. Than Holy shit! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what happened? Oh, I brought them to a different universe. No, uh, that's a f older Federation ship. These no, are but then then it brought them to a a dimension that's got all the junk. Yeah, the junk dimension. <laughs> Everyone, all right? Did I ever tell you about that undamaged. time that um they went faster than warp Captain, ten to and then wait, why did they go faster than warp ten? Okay, well, because warp ten. Okay, so this is the only Voyager episode we? to be retconned out of existence. Apparently, yeah. I so, can, I, uh, just uh, by your description, I can imagine why. Okay, so <laughs> they they uh, so in the episode, it's postulated that like the reason why warp nine is the fastest everybody goes yeah. is because if you hit warp ten, weird physical constant constant stuff is gonna happen, right? Whoa, dude, look, I that's like super that. late that's title right. card. I like that. Oh, the video is getting slammed with every copyright notice ever right now. Maybe. Uh, might have to mute this. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's a made-up FMV. It's not the actual show intro. This is, this is, this is the show intro. This is not. This is a made-up FMV. See? Well, yeah, okay, yeah, but... We'll see. Uh, we'll see as it goes. Because that's definitely the show intro. That's that's uh, that looks a bit better. Than okay, so it's like, oh, if we go fast and warp ten, crazy stuff will happen, right? Yeah. And Janeway and Paris go faster than warp ten, and they go way off course, and they're like, oh my god, what happened to them, right? And they track them down, right? Mm -hmm. And when they went faster than warp ten, um. Janeway and, and Paris turn into weird lizard monsters. Okay. And they fucked and had weird lizard monster babies. So that's like the sex monster episode. Okay. And Tubok and the guys go down and they like they're like, fuck. <laughs> and they just they just like beam them oh back. God, I need to watch they they Voyager. beam them back. And then they leave the weird new mutant <laughs> lizard babies there. No, no. No, they do. No, shut they up. They do. What's their reason? They don't fucking... They, they, they see the weird lizard and they're just like, ah, oh, we're out of here. <laughs> and, and then... And here's... And then, the, and then, like, the next scene is them fine and normal. And they just go, we fix them with their transporter buffer patterns. <laughs> And then they're like kind of awkward because they oh. fucked and had lizard children. Yeah, that make me slightly Captain's awkward with Wooly. It's the fucking. It, oh my god, Dude, it was attacked so by bad. An Dude, force this and game. Transported I don't to know. Some kind of starship Feeling good graveyard. about it. Whereabouts unknown. The I feel like it's important. Damaged. Communication. I, should, oh, I want to be able to walk around the bridge. Yeah, that, it does like Until that. Until repairs are done, we're utterly. Did that fucking VR game come out yet? Oh, you walk around the bridge. Yes, we'll save here. Um, what was I gonna say? 
Fuck, I, I lost it. Did yeah, that weird VR game saying. come out of the bridge thing? Uh, not yet, I don't think. Uh, not yet? Okay. Yes! Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. Get damage control Look at online. the space terrorists. Find out what you can Why is the and exactly view screen so small? Bye, Captain. It is super small. <laughs> How can they see shit out of that? That's not... Look at the command so console. That doesn't look like bridge. that, does it? Yeah, in Voyager it does. Oh. Uh, well, okay, here, here, yeah, here it is. Week. This would be the view you would see on on this TV show. Yeah, now go back. Go where Janeway would sit. Go over there. Captain, we're drifting. Now turn to around. With maneuvering thrusters. That's lies! It's lies? That's lies. Okay. Just I'm like all the lies, Jamie. If I sit, sit if I go here, down. what's gonna happen? She's gonna want to sit eventually. She, like, if you line. sit there, you should get a game over because Jamie would pull out a piece and shoot you. <laughs> Take out a purple space bazooka and shoot my head off. Ensign Monroe, I believe. I just typed in nope. Janeway all lies. Right. Let's see. Now everyone's telling, giving me orders, but I'm not going. So let's see how far I can push this. Maybe, maybe I get. Uh, a game over. Oh, what's wrong? I don't think seven or nine is I working have some very data hard. On one of the closer ships. Where it are you, Tuvok? Do you have any life signs? Scan for power so, uh, sources. See if you can locate a controlling vessel among the debris. I'm st I'm sitting here, but she likes that chair. So you're not allowed in that. I like how they're like Monroe, get out of here, but then they have a, a full minute of dialogue of like bridge talk to to shoot the, the shit. The captain gave and now, and now they're like, dude. <laughs> Dude, get out it's of the It's really bad. Chair. Dude, move. I'm sorry, Ensign. I don't have time to talk right now. Nope. I'm too busy working. Man, Chakotay may be Captain, like the most useless second in command ever. Oh, yeah? Captain, he doesn't do anything. Not right. Can you identify it? Because he doesn't stand up to Janeway so much as he just coalesces. He like, he's, she's like, Captain, I'm gonna do this big war right crime. Now, he's like, I don't really think that's a good idea. And she's like, yeah, fuck you, fight me. He's like, oh. Now, I'd say Riker doesn't really fight Picard, but he's never given a reason to have to fight Picard. <laughs> he fights he fights everybody else a lot, though. Seven. It's true. Like, there's a State lot of times request. when he's in command, and they're like, Picard told you to do this. And he's like, yeah, fuck you, I'm captain now. To boldly go. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Boston Public's a better assistance? show than you would think. 